Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. Now I am going to continue the last and final problem on computing the income from salary. So far, 11 problems I have completed. In every problem you have seen, many new points are there. So I told you, I advised you to maintain a notes. Write down all the provisions which I have explained in the last videos. Now, in this video, 12th problem, the last and final. Then after that, in the next uh, video, we'll start the next head. That is income from house property. Out of the five heads, the biggest, the largest head is income from salary. More provisions are there under income from salary. And these many problems are not there in house property or business or profession or capital gain or other sources. The biggest head we are going to complete now. Now before starting the 12th problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Now take the screenshot of the answer of this 12th problem, then I'll explain. Now, 12th problem. Srimati Suman Lata is working since 1-4-2011 as an auditor in AG office central government department. That means the SSC is a government employee. Compute income from salary. Basic pay. The basic pay is 15,500 per month. DA 6,500 per month. The so one by one we will take up. The so basic pay 15,500 per month into 12. 1 lakh 86,000. DA is 6,500 per month into 12. 78,000. Next, rent-free furnished house in Hyderabad city is provided. Employer is paying 6,000 per month as rent. But rent of similar accommodation is rupees 7,000 per month. Rent fixed by the government is 2,000 per month. And cost of furniture provided is 80,000. Remember, if the SSC is a government employee, then rent fixed by the government is the value of the perquisite. We are not concerned how much rent is paid, what is the rent of similar accommodation, all these things we don't require. Once you have decided that the SSC is a government employee, the so rent fixed by the government, how much is the rent fixed? Uh, 2000 per month that's all we don't require the similar rent or how, how much employer is paying so in working notes here rent free accommodation the SSC is a government employee so rent fixed by the government is the value of the purpose is 2000 per month the value of rent free unfurnished accommodation 2000 per month into 12 24,000 the cost of furniture is 80,000 what is the cost of furniture provided? Yes, the cost of furniture provided is 80,000. So 10% of 80,000, 8,000. So 24 plus 8, 32,000 is the value of rent-free accommodation. So here, rent-free accommodation, 32,000 we have taken. One by one item I am taking. The next one is uh, entertainment allowance, EA, 2,000 per month. So here I am taking EA 2000 per month 24. The SSC is a government employee. So EA deduction under section 16.2 will be allowed. In working note, the SSC is a government employee. So EA deduction under section 16.2 is allowed to the least of the following three amounts. 20% of salary. So salary how much? 186,000. 20% of 186,000, 37,200. Or actual EA received. How much is the actual year received? 24,000. Our fixed ceiling given by Income Tax Act is 5,000. The least among these three is 5,000. So deduction under section 16.2 is 5,000 here. Deduction under section 16.2, year deduction. Next comes, during the previous year, she took education loan at 2%. Assumed SBI rate is 10.05% from the employer, 2 lakh. So here, loan is taken at a concessional rate from the employer. It is a fully taxable perquisite to all employees. Actually, SBI rate is 10.05, whereas employer is charging only 2%. So concession, 10.05 minus 2, 8.05. Here, somewhere, here. Interest charged by SBI, 10.05. Interest charged by employer is 2%. So how much concession? 
8.05 is the concessional rate. So value of the purchase is 8.05 percent into uh, 2 lakh. 2 lakh into 8.05 percent. So it comes to 16,100. So 16,100 is the value of the purchase here. Educational loan 16,100. Next, after that, during the previous year, over, she contributed 12 percent of salary to pension scheme and equally contributed by the employer. So according to the rules, amount contributed by the employer to new pension scheme is fully taxable under the head salary. So employer's contribution to new pension scheme, 12% of salary, 186,000, it comes to 22,320. Next, the employer provided the following. A small car for personal and official purpose and all expense for private use are paid by herself. This is the first time we are coming across a new point. A small car is given by the employer to the employee for both official and personal use. But when the car is using for personal purpose, all private expense will be borne by the SSE. In that case, <coughs> the value of the purgatory is 900 per month. 900 per month. In the previous problem, all expenses were paid by the employer. <coughs> but in this problem, when the car is used for private purpose, the employee herself will pay the amount. So here, yeah, this perquisite is taxable for specified employees. If the employee's salary is more than 50,000, specified employee, motor car is a taxable perquisite. Car is used for both official and personal use. But for personal use, expenses are paid by the SSC. So the value of the purchase is 600 per month. Sorry, I told you 900, but 600. 600 is the value of the purchase. 900 for big car. 600 small car. 600 into 12, 7,200. This is the <coughs> value of the purchase of motor car. Next one is club membership fee for family members. When the club membership fee is paid by the employer for the family members of the employee, it is fully taxable per goods. Here I have written club membership fee. This per is taxable to all employees. Value of the per is the actual amount paid by the employer. How much is the actual amount? 7,500. So 7,500 is the club membership fee pay, paid. Next one, expenses paid by the employer for private tour of family members, 25,000. The family members of the employee are on private tour and all the expenses of private tour of the family members are paid by the employer. It's an obligation of the employee met by the employer, fully taxable per visit. So here 25,000. Next one is uh, reimbursement of medical expenses in a private hospital 40,000. The medical treatment was done in an unrecognized hospital, private hospital and the reimbursement made by the employer fully taxable per visit. Her reimbursement made in a recognized hospital it is tax free. Unrecognized hospital or private hospital reimbursement made is fully taxable. So here 40,000 rupees reimbursement medical expenses 40,000 fully taxable. Then cost of training expenses paid by the employer. Sometimes the employer will send the employees to get the training and employer is paying the expenses of training. It is not taxable. It's a tax free purpose. So amount spent by the employer on training the employees. There is no personal gain to the employee. The employer is getting uh, making them trained for the purpose of the business. So it is tax free purpose. So here you can write uh, training expenses. It is a tax free purpose. Last one. She paid professional tax 2000. So professional tax will be allowed as deduction under section 16.3. 2000. All the points I have explained. Now we'll take the total. <clears throat> All the points are ticked. The total gross income from salary 4,38,120. This is the gross income from salary. From this, three deductions are there 16, 1, 16, 2, 16, 3. Standard deduction, least of the following two. Gross income from salary 438, 120 or 50,000. Whichever is less. So 50,000 is the 
standard deduction. Year deduction already we have calculated here. Year deduction under section 16 to 5000. And professional tax paid is 2000. Take the total 57,000. Deduct 57,000. 381,120. This is the income from salary. That's all. So in this head, income from salary, we have done so many problems on allowances, on perquisites, on retirement benefits, on different type of problems, short problems we have done. And lastly, we have done the problems on main problems on computation of income from salary. So this type of problems will be asked in examination. So I suggest you, I advise my regular viewers that this subject cannot be learned only in just few days. It will require a lot of time, a lot of planning, a lot of seriousness. Then only you can be able to get a good command on the subject. So don't wait till the examination. Much before the examination, you start watching the videos, maintain the notes, record all the provisions. Then only you will feel more confidence on the subject. Otherwise, it will be difficult for you to I mean, clear off this subject. I have applied my maximum effort in explaining each and every provision in detail. Inshallah, in the next video, I will start up the next topic, next head of income. That head of income is income from house property. It is. It will not be as lengthy as the income from salary. It's a very short head. Inshallah, we'll start. We'll start in the next video. So, if you are satisfied, give a like to the video. Share my channel among your friends, among your groups, so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge. Give your comments on these videos. Subscribe my channel. Still, so many viewers are there. I'm getting viewers, many viewers, my views are, viewers are increasing. But unfortunately, the subscription rate is very, very slow. By seeing the subscribers, more motivation I'll get. I'll provide more and more videos, better videos, knowledgeable videos to you. So come forward, so subscribe to my channel. And by the super thanks which is given below my video, inshallah, we'll continue the next topic in the next video.